Hey, everybody. Come on in. Yeah, I don't have any music on yet, but we will. Let's see. What am I going to play? I think it's... We may not be able to control what's outside of our homes, but we can control what is within our walls. So get on in here. Come on in. Let me turn the chat on. In these walls, home is just a word. A fairy tale I'd heard that always kept me searching. Within these walls, home is now the place. Hey, Georgia, where are you from? Where's everybody from? Come on in. I'm getting organized. Within these walls, I have learned to fly, to take charge of my life and find the peace inside. I'm always cheerful. Within these walls, we love and work and play. Come on in. I have my control journal. Within these walls, my thoughts would pull me down. I wouldn't look around to see that lost around. I don't have my lights on. Within these walls. Let there be light. Laughter fills the air. It's all that I was wanting. Ohio, Idaho, Greenville, South Carolina. You're my neighbor. Now I found a way to make a home within these walls. I have learned to fly. Take charge of my life and find the peace inside. Me. California, Mississippi, France, Orange County, California. Come on in. Within these walls, Maine. I love the Maine cabin masters. Come on in. Germany. South Mississippi. Calgary. Been there. Got a funny story. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Raleigh, in these walls. I guess everybody's out having family fun, which is a good thing. They can re-watch this or they can watch it for the first time. It doesn't have to be live. That's the beauty of YouTube. So I thought I'd let me tell you a funny story. I have been deck. I've been cleaning out a hot spot that has become a hot spot in my kitchen. And it's where originally we were going to have a desk there. And I was going to work at that desk. And it has a great view. And but over the years, it has become just this big old hot spot. So I've the the male person, Lakin, it's she's a she. She brought my, I ordered a tall, collapsible bookcase. Not a bookcase, storage shelves. 
ordered and it just it folds down and locks in place and then i got these little shelf things that go on top of each shelf liners so things don't fall through it and it came in i had to help robert bring in up to the house because they she left it in front of the garage and i'm just all excited to get it up and ready to go and I, robert was kind of he didn't say anything but it's sitting in the middle of the floor at at our entrance it's right right in front of the front of the credenza and i need to get it cleaned out before i can set it up and then i can put things on the shelves which is what i want to do and <laughs> he just had to go outside that's just how it is so i started looking for where i always keep my holiday control journal because I wanted to show it to you. And I usually keep it, I usually keep it with my cookbooks. It's a good hiding place, especially if you have nosy people in your home. It's it's like a recipe archive. And I couldn't find it. It wasn't with my one with my cookbooks. And I was, that's why I was late getting to the show. It wasn't with my cookbooks. And then I remembered the last time I had it was last year. And I have a, a bag of stuff that I took to Leanne's for show and tell. And I just left it in there. Never put it away after I got through with it. So I'm going to open up my control journal. And go through it with you. Now, you can go download your own holiday control journal. It is free. It's free. I've just sent out uh, an email that's got the link in it. So if you're not signed up for our emails, you're not going to be getting our missions. So one of the things you're going to need for your holiday control journal is some sheet protectors. And, and we love them. We all have them. I got to flip it over because I opened it upside down. About to knock my speaker off. But it starts out, and I think I have a blank one in here. This is a blank set of our holiday control journal. You don't have to print it out in color. And I don't know that I can do this correctly. I'm afraid it's just going to come all to pieces. Because it's really a little bit too big. But Thanksgiving is my favorite, favorite holiday. And we haven't had Thanksgiving at our house in two years now. So it starts out, I've labeled this my thanksgiving recipes and on the back side i have a left to do list this is usually the last things that i have left to do or i might have to make out a new list i have my menu that i always like to have thanksgiving menu plan Turkey and ham, green beans, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, cranberry salad, rolls, dressing, um, cranberry sauce, broccoli salad, and my famous angeled eggs. And then for dessert, uh, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, applesauce cake, or an apple cake. My mother-in-law always loved apple cake. Um, uh, and a chocolate cake. But I don't usually do all those. I just pick from them. But I do like a lot of pumpkin pie. And I do like Robert's pecan pie. He makes that. We have our, our menus divided up where Robin brings the sweet potatoes and Robin brings the dressing. And I make the broccoli salad and the mashed potatoes and the green beans. And I cook the turkey and some years we have ham, sometimes we don't. I like ham because I'm not crazy about turkey. But that's 
that's my that's my menu and then i've got a master grocery list for thanksgiving and then i've got another grocery list back here of um it's just the continuation and then i have my timeline that i made oh let's see in 2000 i have a timeline according to what time we're having having our thanksgiving dinner i have a timeline set up and then i've got my recipe for my broccoli salad and sarah and ethan absolutely love ella's robert's mother's recipe for for cranberries salad and it's I'll, I'll be putting it out there but not right now i'll get sidetracked and then i have a basic rolled old recipe and then i have the lunch ladies whippoorwill hollow she makes rolls too and they are she works in a lunchroom a school cafeteria and then a lot of these recipes are on youtube so robert's robert's recipe for his pecan pie and then there's a black strap molasses pecan pie and then my recipe for angel eggs i cook them in the oven they're on the website and then there's turkey roasting tips these come from leanne's um leanne's thanksgiving menu mailer i blew it up so i didn't have to put on my i didn't have to squint to find but the main thing is you just stick everything in the carcass stick it in the oven at 500 degrees for 30 minutes and then you turn the oven down on 325 don't open the oven door and it makes the most beautiful turkey you've ever seen but i have a secret i cooked my turkey the day before if we're having thanksgiving on wednesday we have had it on sunday you know it's just according to where else you've got to go and it's i cook it the day before i cut it up i put it in a pan i have some um turkey broth that i pour in it and i cover it and put it in in the oven to to warm to heat up but i you know put it in the refrigerator overnight my friend martha helton i grew up with her and she has a great recipe for dressing we call it dressing where i grew up not stuffing we call it dressing and she has a recipe for giblet gravy which is what i grew up with not brown gravy but i make brown gravy because nobody else in my family likes the giblet gravy but she has a great recipe and i'll be sharing that with you now one of the best pumpkin pie recipes comes from the libby's pumpkin libby's pumpkin can i haven't found better uh, this is just putting together a collection of your recipes and you when you put them in sheet protectors you don't have to worry about messing them up and leanne's mini mailer is really good i mean muzz's stuffing is it's made with sausage doesn't get any better so is my sister-in-law she makes hers with sausage and there's there's turkey roasting tips and all kinds of good stuff like that and let's see i'm still flowing through here that pretty much does my 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 thanksgiving but let's go through the holiday control journal you start out with the cover sheet you don't you can put that in a sheet protector and i go through it and i tell you we're going to be playing a game with ourselves we're going to pretend like we're going we're going to pretend that on december 1st we are going on a three-week cruise in order to have a peaceful cruise we need to take care of things so that we're not running around like a chicken with its head cut off see and we're going to be back on the 21st 
and we've got to get everything done before December 1st. When is Thanksgiving this year? I'm trying to look on our calendar. It's the 25th. Black Friday is the 26th. And December 1st is on a Wednesday. So here we go. This is our holiday control journal. The first thing we discuss is crisis cleaning. Crisis cleaning to get ready for the holidays. Sometimes you need to see a little success. How to enjoy the cruise while your home cleans itself. It's all about establishing. This, this whole thing is free. All you got to do is download it and print it out. Morning routine, before bed routine, afternoon routine. And how to adapt holiday traditions to fit your family. Not everybody has children at home. And you don't have to, you know, I, I can't say too much right now. I don't want to spoil it for some children. But there are lots of traditions. One of the traditions that we had in our home was um, sleigh bells. And I'll say no more. <laughs> but you think about your different traditions. Do you have Christmas dinner, Christmas Day with your parents and Christmas Eve with um, your husband's parents? What, do you, what are your Christmas traditions? Things to do the day before the holiday, several weeks ahead of time. I just go through everything. And the big day finally comes. And what are your favorite food traditions? Well, we Robert likes to bake cookies. I like to bake cookies. So we bake cookies. I like to make this wonderful jam cake. Uh, for Justin, it's called an amalgamation cake, and he likes boiled custard. But since he's been eating uh, keto and low carb, he doesn't do much of that anymore. So last year, I didn't make it for him. But I do make cinnamon rolls for Emily because she has a house full of company at Christmas. Uh, holiday menu plan. If you're going to have people in your home, you're going to have to feed them. You're going to have to feed them. So figure out your menus. Holiday breakfast. You know, do you have a tradition of hot chocolate or um, a casserole, a sausage cast, sausage egg quiche, you know, holiday party food? They're going to be there for a few days. You got to feed them. And start putting together your favorite recipes. And start building your grocery list. And then, I love cookie recipes. In fact, I one time almost decluttered Robert's favorite cookie book. Cookie cookbook. But we have a whole bunch of cookie recipes on our website. You just have to do a search for cookies. Because we have a ton of them. Y'all have sent them in and we've kept them. So you have your favorite cookie recipes. And I came up with the recipe. And it's in my Chaos Cure book. The one that's right behind me right there. I, I practiced it one year. And I make a base dough. Which is a dough that is practically the dough that's on the back of the Nestle's Toll House morsels package. And I turn that into several, several different kinds of cookies. I divide the dough up into, into mixing bowls. I make the base dough and then I add chocolate chips to one. I turn another one into, I put pecan pieces and turn it into pecan sandies. Uh, what is another one of them I make? But you can put Rice Krispie Treats in, rice um, Reese's Pieces in, in some. You can do lots of things. And it's fun. And we don't have to wait till the last minute to get our baking stuff in the house. 
So look at your favorite recipes and what you're planning to make. Now, this is all stuff you're going to be making in December, not, not putting it off. And, and try you now. I like to make my cookie dough early and freeze it and just put it in the freezer. And, and then I put it in the refrigerator to thaw up. And my cookie dough is wrapped up in saran wrap. And I've got all this on the YouTube channel, uh, on our YouTube channel. You know, how much butter do you, do you need? I've already got all the butter I'm going to need for Christmas cooking already. How much sugar? How many eggs? What do you, you know, are you going to decorate the cookies with, with icing and different things? You know, you get on Amazon and you can order this stuff and get it in your house. Do you need baking soda, jams, uh, chocolate chips, nuts, that sort of thing? Figure it out. All about doing the math. Yes, we do need math. Then we have a page holiday gift list. And if I knew how to share my screen with you, I would do it. But I don't know how. And right now, I'm not going to try to try to do it while we're online together. But who do you buy for usually? Make the list of all those people you buy for. And then think clutter-free. Right now, we need to buy disposable goods things that you're going to use there's nothing i like better how much do you plan to spend because we have a day of the week it's budget don't begrudge it you keep up with what you're spending and there's several pages to do for holiday gifts and then are you traveling this season i, I pray that you're not uh, we'll we'll have a closing prayer, y'all. Um, are you traveling this season? What date do you need to leave? And how long will you be gone? And when will you return home? And are you driving? Is the car service? It's all these things to think about. And a packing list to boot. Then it's time to decorate. And we don't decorate the whole house at once. We divide the house into zones and we decorate different zones at one time during that week. So you're spreading it out. And then things that you're ordering, write them down so that you know who they're for when they come in. We have shipping deadlines every year with the post office. We need to know when those are. I haven't checked yet. We're just getting started. But if you have things that need to go overseas, you need to pay attention to this stuff. Uh, school parties, church functions, school functions, dinner dates with friends, office functions. If you volunteer and, and your volunteer organization wants to have a party, you know, get these dates on your calendar and in your control journal. And then have you started making some um, homemade gifts. What are you making? It's always fun. One year, our electrician gave me apple butter and it was made in a crock pot, y'all. It's amazing stuff. And I've done it and it's wonderful. So start thinking about the different parties you need to go to and you know, you might not go to any party, but you might have a party. One year we had a fondue party. Instead of having a traditional Christmas dinner with Justin and Emily and the grandchildren, we had a fondue party and had a ball. I bought fondue pots off of um, eBay and we had a cheese fondue. We had an oil fondue. We had a chocolate fondue and we had, and then we had a boiling fondue, like you could put shrimp in and boil them. And it was fun. And then the last page, 
tape an envelope to this page or take a manila envelope and put holes in it and put it in your binder so that you can put your receipts in this envelope. And when you do that, wow, you are, you are good to go. Now, this thing is not many sheets long. I don't know exactly how many. I think it's 34, but I'm not for certain on that. But we also have Robert's birthday is in November. My birthday is in January. So, and our anniversary is the end of November. So we have three birthdays during this time. Birth, two birthdays and an anniversary. We have Ethan's birthday, which is December 1st. So we've got birthdays all along the path, y'all, of, of, of our hol holiday stuff. So put this stuff together. Get it on your calendar. Get it on your calendar. And, and let's start our missions on Monday. We're going to start our missions on Monday. Because, and I've already started sending out a testimony. And if you have a testimonial, about using your holiday control journals, send it to me to flylady at flylady.net with cruising or, or with Christmas testimonial for in it in the subject line. Now, this is one of the things that my mother in law thought was brilliant. On Thanksgiving morning, I would get all my serving dishes out and I would label them. Corn goes in this one, mashed potatoes. And that way, if somebody was helping me in the kitchen, they would know where things went and what serving dish. Because some things need a lot of room. And, and she just thought that was the most brilliant thing she had ever seen, that I already had the cards made out and in the bowls ready to go. So, folks, download your holiday control journal. It's going to help you stay calm and cool and collected. And you're going to be the hostess with the mostess because you're going to be organized. And it's going to change the way you think about Christmas. You're no longer going to be a Christmas martyr. My mother was a Christmas martyr. She made Christmas horrible for us. At 10 years old, we were climbing on the roof putting Christmas lights up. You know, it's not worth it. Get somebody hurt. And get your red office in a bag. You can take a 31% discount on them. Right now. Right now. So, folks... Let's get ready to have some fun this holiday season. Yes, Christmas is fun now, sister. It's not it wasn't fun when we were growing up. And I'll I'll have a picture to show you of uh, the Christmas tree that we had to do. And that's another story for another day. But we will go through it. It was horrible. It was torture. Mother was a Christmas banshee. She was. And she made the rest of us not like Christmas. It, it, was, it was awful. And it was so bad that she died on Christmas Eve. And I promise you, when I went to the nursing home where she was, I said, Mommy, you did this on purpose so we would never forget about you on Christmas. <laughs> I know that wasn't nice. She was already gone, though. I'm sure her spirit was still in the, in the room. But she loved Christmas. She loved everything about it. One of the first pictures I ever drew in first grade was a house with lights all on it because she was determined to be the best in town. Wherever she was, she wanted to be the best. 
but let's let's keep it simple this year, y'all. Let's be kind to ourselves. Be good to ourselves. Kind to our neighbors by not blowing up with lights. I mean, we couldn't even put dinner on the table because our electric bill was so high. Now, you don't have to have high electric bills with LED lights. But it was awful. So let's let go of the bad memories. Let's keep it simple this year. Give clutter-free gifts and kindness to others. Let the sweetness that is in your heart share it with the world. So let's let go. Let's let go of our perfectionism. Uh, I've, I've sent out, a, I think, this morning or this afternoon, uh, maybe it's tomorrow it goes out, but I was asked one time by a reporter, if you could say one thing about the holiday season, what would it be? And it's let go of your perfectionism. That's the one tip I would give you. Let go. And you know you're a perfectionist if when you put the ornaments on the tree and the children help you, after they go to bed, you move them. Let me see your hands, those of you who've done it. You know who you are. Now, if you want the ornaments up higher, you pick the child up and help them put it up higher. But don't be moving their ornaments because they can only reach so high. Let go of your perfectionism and you're going to find the holiday season is a whole lot more fun. You got it? Okay, let's have a closing prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the birth of your son. Thank you for sending him to earth to die for our sins. Thank you, Lord. Please help us to let go of our perfectionism so that we can have a calm and beautiful holiday season. We may not have a lot, but we have each other. So let's be thankful for the blessings and let's love one another with all that we have. All these things we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. There's a Hallmark movie that that I've watched many times, and it has um, Billy Ray Cyrus in it. Look for it. But it's about a Christmas when they didn't have anything, and all they did was cut pictures out of out of uh, the catalog, and they wrapped up that picture in the from the catalog. So folks, it's it's what it's what's in your heart that matters. Just getting together. We haven't been together. So let's be good, kind, and sweet. Good to ourselves by not procrastinating and making turning Christmas into craziness. Let's not do that. Let's be organized. Let's get it done. Let Let's do it in such a way that it's peaceful in our homes. And uh, the whole family is involved. One of the things I've done in the past is put my Christmas ornaments in a beautiful bowl. I put my Christmas tree up with just lights on it. Just lights. N no, no garland, no nothing. And then... When people come over for Thanksgiving, they decorate, they put the ornaments on the tree. <laughs> and it's done. Last year, I only had my little rod iron tree, which I absolutely love my little rod iron tree. It makes me happy. And I'll probably put it up again because I got these little LED lights that are battery operated that go on the branches, that clip on the branches, and they make me happy. They look like little candles. And I put these ornaments on this little rod iron tree and I'm just as happy as I can be. So folks, let go of your perfectionism. 
God's the only one true perfect thing and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Let it go and do what you can with what you have, where you are. I think that's a quote from a first lady from the past, but it's a good one. I love you all. And I will see you tomorrow afternoon. Talk to you later.